So for today's video, we're gonna check out this, what they call a battery powered electric mower. It's actually kind of like a three in one uh, weed trimmer, but it's actually kind of an interesting tool that you can put different blades or attachments on it, which they include, but let's go ahead and pull everything out. See what we got to work with. Got a saw blade, two wheels, two caps for the wheels, the body and motor, safety glasses, a handle, there's a guard, there's those other blades, and some hardware. You also get two batteries right here for now. Power adapter. And then here's some plastic blades. But in order to bring this down, you just do that. I do like that feature. Overall, this thing's pretty lightweight, but let's get the rest of it put together first. You don't want to tighten these too tight, so I'll just kind of put it right about there so where the threads are just starting to poke through. You put it on too tight, that's not going to spin all that well. So this is in case you don't want to run the wheels and want to just use it without that attachment. Let's put this on. Just rotate that around and grab this piece. Now, with this in place, you grab one of these blades. This goes on like this, the edge facing towards you. And of course, can't forget this other guard. I want to forget to put the uh, handle on. So this button right here, just press that in. That adjusts the wheels, install the battery. Some weeds right here, let's try it out. Make sure I've got it adjusted correctly.
what I can tell you guys, what I already like about this, and this is no joke, I like that I can see exactly where the blade is, and I can get underneath areas like this very easily without, unlike with a normal the weed strings eater. will end up hitting pretty much everything, unless you're an expert at it, which I'll admit I'm not. Um, I'm definitely not a landscaper by any stretch of the imagination. But in all honesty, this thing performs pretty well for these kinds of uses. Now for this, I'm actually gonna take the guard off because what I wanna do is try and get as close to this as possible. And as I mentioned earlier, the fact that you can see the blade and exactly where it is, as long as you take your time and you're not rushing anything, it works really well. So I could get up almost right to the concrete and not even touch it. use the wheel kind of as a guard so you know exactly where you are and you have that stability cutting and trimming small brush like this It's actually kind of surprised me how well this thing is done with just a 20 volt battery. Now that's to say that this is not a commercial tool. This is something for homeowner usage. It would be really cool to see this company come out with something commercial rated or a little bit heavier duty, but I think for the intended uh, target market for something like this, it definitely fills that gap. Now, somebody with like a smaller yard or you know, very specific needs such as I've shown in this video, this can definitely benefit. It's definitely a great supplement to your garden and tool arsenal that you already have. And I could recommend it just for that reason alone. It's cheap, it gets the job done, and I don't really have anything, any issue with it outside of I would like to see them come out with a more uh, pro focus model that's built maybe a little bit better. A quick look at the bottom blade and see where I did strike strike some rocks or concrete or something, but that's to be expected. Seemed to work and hold up pretty well though. Pretty lightweight. It's definitely easy to carry around. It's for sure easy to push. So I wanted to make a point you cannot put these blades on backwards. You can see right here. So the direction of rotation is like this. I'll even really quickly just spin it so you guys can see it. Now it looks like it's on backwards. Rotation goes this way, but it's really not because there you go. 
it's serrated on both sides on the opposite sides so no matter what you do you cannot put this thing on backwards or wrong and it will cut no matter what but now we're just going to swap in one of these blades plastic ones and i've already taken everything apart here take this off i'm going to take the wheels off and put this guard on and we're going to try it out with just this and see how that works so i'm just going to undo the wheels here locked in place with the little nub. Put that back in the parts box. And again, same thing. You cannot put this on wrong or incorrect. It's serrated on both sides. So let's see how this thing does. I'm actually really curious to see how these plastic ones do. Let's give her a shot. Pretty decent cut. Kind of sounded like I was bouncing it off the concrete a little bit at first, but it seems like it's holding up okay. It's still in decent condition. You can see where it's been grinding against the concrete a little bit, but in all honesty, it's holding up pretty dang well. It's still pretty sharp too. <laughs> 